Hey, Wendy, not today. And I said, rude. And then I went about my, my day. And now I'm home. It's really hot. I got the fan going. My dad and Donnie are gonna put in my AC unit later. And um, I just need to talk to you guys about a couple things. Hi, King. King, are you rich since you're king of that place? Are you first really always? That's pretty incredible. That's really, I almost called you James, King. Hi, Miss Barbara. Debbie Susan, my sweet Barbara Debbie, Debbie Susan. Hi, Marinella. Hi, Terry. Hi, Mystic, Kim, Lori, Valerie. Valerie, I have uh, those three bracelets. I haven't looked at them yet, but just so you know, I'll be putting those aside for you. Whoa, that's freaky. Hope James don't hop, James don't hop on because he doesn't like these circles in my eyeballs. But I had to give my eyeballs a rest. Look at him. Look at this. Whoa! It fits. Thanks. I do have several properties in Clyde Carr, so in a way, yeah, plus I live on an island. Is there any way that you could send me a few thousand dollars that'd be great i will send you whatever you want except myself hi annie lee hi darlene when i got back i got a uh, donnie lunch i'm here but not really here are you okay or are you just busy um so i yelled for donnie and i uh, he came out of his place and I gave him his food and he was like I just want to let you know that I vacuumed your house <laughs> it was so bad it was so bad I was like oh my gosh thank you so much every time he comes back and I guess to get uh, a drink or chocolate He's like, I can't take these floors anymore. It's on my to-do list. It's just not a priority because we keep the door open and leaves fly in all the time. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, Allie, gotcha. So, I went to the post office. I sent off almost everybody's stuff. I still have, like, Jennifer's and uh, Janet and Brenda Morales. I need to fix those, but I can just drop those off in my mailbox when I'm done. That's right, Lori. But um, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to have to put off the vision board this evening because my dad just gave me quite a few things he needs done on the farm. I'm trying to wait till it cools a little bit. Um. Take a little anxiety pill, a quarter of one, itty bitty tiny. Yeah, I mailed it out today, Marinella. April, I think I had another package today for you as well, yeah. So, let me see what the receipt says. As far as when things are supposed to be delivered. But most of them are envelopes which don't have tracking. You can still make it. Some will be delivered the 10th. Some will be delivered on the 11th. And like the one in Washington that goes to Shannon. That one will be delivered on the 12th. Patrice will get hers on the 10th. I just go by the Oklahoma. Andrea will get hers on the 10th. Sandra Calhoun will get hers on the 11th. Blair 
Louisville, Georgia will get theirs on the 11th. Uh, April Halsey will get hers on the 11th. Whoever's in West Virginia gets on the 11th. Yeah, and then everybody else was cards. These were packages. So, um, I would say between the 10th and the 12th, you guys should uh, receive your packages. I need to put that up, actually. I had a... Uh, Annie Lee, that makes my heart so happy. It really does be cleaning today, listening to Bee Gees. That'll get you motivated right there. Little Bee Gees in your life. But I do need to reschedule the vision board, which sucks because, but I just don't even think, unless they put the AC in unit soon, because they're supposed to do it at five, I don't think I can sit here that long. It's so, but the sun will be going down, well, not for a lot of hours. And we have a lot of rain coming in, so it's hard to keep my door open when rain is just upstairs. So hot. Um, I was talking to mom this morning and she wanted me to give a big shout out to Victoria for her card and her McDonald's card. She was so excited because she was like, with that, I didn't have to spend one dollar when I went to Columbia to visit sister. And then she was so happy with Shannon's gift. Um, I gotta take this down, it's hurting my head already. Um, she, Shannon sent my mom a gardening apron and gloves and then a really cute chicken coop sign to put on the chicken coop. And my mom was like, she just really, really, really liked both of those gifts. Um, so she said, please, please pass that on to Victoria and Shannon. And I said, I sure will do that. Uh, I, Andrea, I sent your shirt out today with your uh, bracelet, but um, I didn't wash it, so remember that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I can give it to her, but I don't feel like, I haven't even washed my clothes. I haven't even unpacked from Heather's. Ooh, I don't feel very well. It's just hot. It's like 90 some degrees out. are so sore I know you're not supposed to do this but damn it it feels too good so let me tell you on the way back from in town on my road someone ran over a turtle there was no need for this person to run over the turtle there was no need. And it made me so freaking angry. I was so angry. I kept going, gosh, damn it. I'm in my car <laughs> talking to my, gosh, damn it. Gosh, damn it. I was just yelling in my car because the turtle wasn't dead when I went into town. So that turtle had just died. He just lost his life. And it's just like, like so freaking pointless. It makes me so angry that somebody could just run over a turtle. Oh, it makes me angry. I just hope they get flat tires. I know that's not very Jesus-like, but neither is running over a turtle when it's not even in your lane. Like it was, like here's the curb. The turtle was like right next to the curb. Why would you ever need to hit that turtle? You don't. 
piss me off. Last night when I got in real late, um, on that road, there was, when I was pulling down the road, I saw two, uh, sorry to spit. I saw two sets of eyes. So I slowed down because I didn't know what it was. I thought maybe it was a possum or something. And it was a bunny rabbit and a, a cat. And I told the cat, which spends a lot of time on our land, looks a lot like boots, um, leave that bunny rabbit alone. You know, you need to get home and you need to mind your business. And then the bunny rabbit hopped away and the cat scattered. But, uh, yeah, you just got to be cautious. Don't be flying down roads where the speed limit is freaking 30. There's no reason to hit a turtle when the speed limit's 30. But it just enforces that I got to make those signs, like, soon. And I'm going to put them on both sides of the roads to let them know to slow your asses down because there are turtles out here. And let me see somebody run over. I will chase them down. Oh, and they will get a piece of me. Just. Mm, pisses me off. That's right, Carolyn. Patrice was saying that, you know, like little kid punks driving around get off on running over turtles. I saw five yesterday ran over, but that was on like a bigger, more busier. Calm down. Calm down. Um, even though it sucks that they ever run over, sometimes on a busy road like that, you can't always, because I've been there, I hit one myself on that, that road long ago but when the speed limit's 30 there's no reason to run over turtles so I just ask you guys to definitely watch out for turtles it is turtle season they are coming out they are out and about they are playing and living their best lives and the last thing that needs to happen is a worried mother going to look for their baby and it's dead on the road like they can't even move them and bury them. Because they're all splattered on the damn... Oh. That pisses me right off. When you get time, you should walk over to where they're coming out. There's a lot... There, when did you just join? I sent you an email. Is this one of yours? Stephanie... Did you, Stephanie, in Florida, um, did you already pay for your bracelet? I didn't read the email yet because with your guys' sweet, kind, loving after my video last night was sending, I have so many emails to go through. I just meant, meant, mentally couldn't do it first thing in the morning. I'm going to, Carolyn. Yeah, I'm going to make one for each side of the road. If you're going this way, you see it. And then if you're coming this way, you see it. I might even say cameras are watching you. That would be a lie. That's not Jesus. But Stephanie, did you pay for yours? Because I have it right here. And well, James, I was hoping you didn't show up. Well, I always want you to show up, but I know how it really pisses you off with the circles in my eyeballs. So you did that's what i thought you're good to go i'm putting stamps on it and i'll put it in the mailbox tomorrow i knew so it wasn't jennifer that paid it was you that paid and then you did 20 or you did 20 i remember yeah because there's one in there so i'm putting the stamps on and this will be going out in the mailbox uh the other ones I need to do is Janet, which she is sending money. Brenda Morale paid me, and then Jen. I don't know if Jennifer's paid yet. Maybe she has. I don't know. 
And then I got Claire's address and I got to put it on that. So perfect, 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 perfect. One of my bumblebees, um, they want to say their name, they can, I don't, said that um, I should possibly consider, um, Oh, you're so sweet. People are always calling me Jennifer my whole life. Well, I had one for Jennifer, and I couldn't remember if it was Jennifer or you that had paid, but I knew some one of you did. Uh, I don't know what the hell I was just talking about. Wow, just that quick, huh? Yes, Miss Janet, I did. Yes. Oh, James, the circles in my eyes when I wore my, because I was crying a lot and my contacts were old. And I was like, if James comes on, he's going to be complaining because he can see the circles in my eyes. Okay, got it, uh, Stephanie. Got it, got it, got it. I appreciate all that you, all that sent me messages. I haven't even opened Cindy King's, which is so hilarious because in the beginning you can see it saying, go make yourself a cup of coffee, sit back and relax and read this book. Because she, I guess she sent me a long message. What's wrong with Michelle? Or, well, I didn't see anything. Michelle, do you have my phone number? You can text me. I won't answer the phone call unless it's an emergency because I just am selfish like that, I guess. But I think I'm going to send you my phone number. That way you can text me at any time that you need me. Wanted to say, yes, one of my bumblebees stated that I should order more hummingbirds. So I contacted my dealer in Guatemala and he sent me a bunch of pictures of beautiful hummingbirds. Libby, thanks for looking out. I'll send it to you, Michelle. Um, so I, I, I'm contemplating that. I know you all love hummingbirds with the shipping and to buy the merchandise and all. It's just so expensive that even paying $25 for one hummingbird is not going to make me but $500. And that's not a whole lot with all that I have to go through to get the hummingbirds. Um, so I just, I just don't know. And then, you know, I'm notorious when I get hummingbirds, I give so many of them away. I probably will walk away with like 250 bucks. And it's a whole lot of work to get those hummingbirds over here. Um, I got to pay, the, uh, I think he said they were 650 a hummingbird now, maybe seven. And then it's about $300 to ship 50 hummingbirds. Now, the more heavier the package is, the less the shipping is. Um, but I, I mean, if I'm being honest, and please don't take it any more than what I'm just saying, is I'm overdrawn in my account. Like, I have to make good choices, and I just don't know if getting bum or hummingbirds is a good choice at this time. I am going to upload all my bracelets to Etsy. There are so many coupons that you guys can use. If you want to support me um, and want me to keep showing up, I mean, if you guys could send me 50 cents each a day to, like, tips um, or through Super Chats or a dollar a week, Thank you, Stephanie. I think you're right. Yeah, you're right about a lot of stuff. 
but like my income this month was definitely not enough to pay my my bills um so I just gotta figure some stuff out Ooh, Michelle five months baby five months I love you oh cr And um, maybe some of you guys are like, well, you're having a retreat. Um, don't you have money from that? Well, every dime that I'm making from the retreat is going to my parents. I'm not taking any of that money. But for my birthday month, I did say, since I'm not gonna, I'm gonna give all that money to the parents. <sighs> Michelle, look what she did. She just made the list. Uh, thank you, Michelle, for that. It means a whole lot. Um, my parents, it took them a while. My dad was like, okay, cool. My mom was like, I am not. And I'm like, mom, take it. And she thought about it. She goes, well, what are you getting out of the retreat? And I said, uh, I get to spend time with my bumblebees. I get to make memories. I get um, good videos to, to show. Like, it helps me out on the, on the back end. And so, any money that's left over from what we have to get, um, it's going to them. So... Don't think that I'm, like, over here with a bunch of money, because I'm not. I, I don't even touch that money. Got to start a new list. And Michelle is number one on there. Can we all do that for Miss Kim, you guys? Send big, big, big prayers for her sweet mama. I bet your heart is broken, sweetie. <gasps> you guys, thank you so much. Those dollars add up and then at the end of the month with that and then when I sew with my bracelets, I'm able to pay my bills and continue to show up as a bunch um and then carolyn i got two people on here thank you so much um Man, I cannot remember crap today. Oh, but I did say for my birthday month, which is July, I said maybe I wouldn't have to pay my rent. And mom says, I think that's absolutely fair. So in July, I don't even have to pay my rent. Because it can be a birthday gift and it can be uh, a little bit of, the um retreat money so it's not really gonna hurt my parents that much not at all or i wouldn't do it um so i do get my free mortgage on july so that that that's nice them are the big things for me like that's a big win Hi, Tanner Ors. I love being a bumblebee. Kim, honey, thank you. Look at her. She's going through it and she's still sending love. Thank you, Kim. We are going to, I know I will be absolutely sending big old prayers up. Big old prayers up.
You're a queen bee, Janet. We're all queen bees. James is our king hornet. Mystic, thank you. Remember, every time 10 people send stuff, I, I, I make the list, just like this one. And out of every 10, I do a giveaway. The people that won, just in case they weren't on last time, was Stephanie. We drew these, what, yesterday? Stephanie Edwards is getting a freebie. And Patty Davis is getting a freebie. Michelle times two. That's all, Michelle. And James? What are you doing over there, you little hornet? And Janet. Okay, you guys know. And Livy. Thank you all so much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh-uh. Barbara Duvall. Whoa. My Barbara Deborah Susan. And Darlene. See, Michelle, you should just know how powerful you are. You guys, we have ten. We can do a giveaway. Happy Mother's Day. That's so sweet. You guys got any big plans for Mother's Day? I don't know what in the world I'm going to do for my mom. I probably, I don't know. I just want to pamper her. Ooh, Valerie. Two months, baby. Two months. Thank you all so much. Libby too much. Kim again. What are we doing here? Left for a minute. We're just, you know, chilling out. Kicking. Do you, I don't, what do you say? I don't remember. so sweet see if you guys could just do that on the videos just a couple dollars each of not each of you but just here and there if I was like to make five or ten dollars every video and tips it would help out so much Valerie and my sweet Deb thank you okay now I'm getting uncomfortable so let's just Please put me on the giveaway list. Oh, you're on there, little lady. Right there. Excuse me. Shooting the shit. That's right. This is what the hive is about. I thank the Lord for our hive. You do, Libby. I want to start calling you Aunt Libby. Are you okay with that? Hold on. Uh, no, YouTube does very good about giving me 
what I'm supposed to get. Trey, you know how the reception be. Yes, I love it so big. Can I tell you guys what my mom said last night? And I wasn't going to say because I don't want anybody to steal it. But it is pretty much one of the best things ever. Tipathon. It would help me so much. I mean, even like 50 cents if you can. It just, but she said this, you guys. I was telling her how dad was being a butthole to me. And she was like, well, you should have just told him. And I was just like, or my sister did. And I was like, nah, I was mean enough to my parents long enough. I'm not, I'm not ever going to talk back to them, you know? And I accept my father for who he is. It doesn't mean it doesn't hurt sometimes, but I hurt them too. Um, and my mom goes, let me get it right. She said, Two means does not make a right. No. What'd she say? Two means does not make a nice. She said two means does not make a nice. Hi, Winnie and everybody. My grandson is on the hospital. Ooh, five months, Miss Sandy. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. We are live. What do you do with that? What do you do with that? What do you do with that? Okay, I got a whole lot of information coming at me. Let me close my eyes for a second. Patrice, we are live and I'm glad you're here. I love you. Sandy Calhoun. I did, and I know so many bumblebees prayed their little butts off for you and your family. And God is so good. God is so good for Kaylee Bailey. Cam, that is so sweet. Kay Bailey. Um, and then, <laughs> Miss Sand, thank you so much. You go, oh, I, I mean, you just get your own free thing. I'm putting you. Yes. I just sent you a little package today, Miss Sandy, and it, it just, it, it's just not enough. Sandy, I am so happy and moved to hear that. I know you don't. You don't expect anything. That's what makes it even more special. I am over the freaking moon, Miss Sandy, about... I, I don't know. You said in there. Your family member. I, I know who it is. I just didn't know if you said it. Um, what that poor baby... He wasn't babies. You know, he's not a baby, but to us their babies and what he went through it's just incredible it's incredible that's right yeah Miss Kim her mother's not doing so well and they're talking about amputating and I can not yeah 17 yeah a baby to us isn't it you're having max withdrawals. You know, I left him with my, my dad when I went into town. 
And when I pulled up, he did not run to me and I couldn't find him. And he was just hanging out with my dad. So I went down to the garage and I'm like, what's going on here? Why did you not come to me when you heard me? He was just chilling. I think the fan was too loud. He couldn't hear me pull up. I said, come give me kisses. Like, I'm not used to you not running to me when I get home. Max, James is wanting to see your face. Can I hold you, please? Come here. Come on. I know you're warm, but you're okay. Come. Come. He said no. And he's he's sticking with that a little bit, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Man, oh man. He's okay, Sandy. What that boy went through was traumatic in the fact that he is incredible. As far as Crystal and your sweet little Shih Tzu. I thought you were saying yours too, Libby. Um, but yes, I. Can I ask Crystal how how old your baby is? Trees would message me going, "I'm higher than a kite." Oh, I figured it out. It's because of that sweet tea. <laughs> then I had to go get me one. Sixteen. What a life, though. Kit. I'm just interested. How, how do you know? Like, how did you know something was wrong? Anybody that had an animal that. How do you know? I mean, Max could have cancer right now, and I have no idea because I don't take him to the pound because I don't want to know all that stuff just let him live out his life same thing when my cancer came back i was like i don't want to know ever again i'm not going i'm not not, not doing it i just rather just die what made you get the blood work i'm sorry if this is way too much for bumps got it Got it. Damn. Well, then I don't want to show my sit to James. That's just torture for her. Miss Sandy again, thank you so much. And thank you for letting us know about... I think you said it was Gabriel. Is that... I just am mind blown. Prayer is so freaking powerful. When he changes his routine. Interesting, Marinella. Okay. Max is going to be nine in December. That is so interesting. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, so you had the same. Okay, so they changed their routines. Max is continuing to do his thing, but it is really good awareness to have. So thank you. Can you guys hit the like button? 
I only got a 16 little pitiful thumbs up there. Change the routine. I gotta watch that. Their appetite. He stopped eating. Max will eat. He just only eat when he eats because before we got Lola, me and Max only ate like once a meal a day. And then we'd just, if I ate, he'd have a little bit of my food. He was never a morning eater, nor am I. Um, but now that he sees sister eating so much, he thinks that he needs to at least have something on his plate. So I do that, but like I threw his food away this morning because he didn't even eat it. He whimpers with his paw, but that's our arthritis. I hope so, Marinella. I can't imagine being blessed to have him until he gets up. I don't know. I guess in my head. Well, Crystal, if you want, up to you. You can email me a picture of your sweet baby. And I, uh, maybe you in it if you like, and I can post it on the community tab. That way, when we say our prayers, um, we can have that image in our mind so we be even more heartfelt. Six year old cat, six year old cat, and two twin boys, a year and a half. Yes, we are. We are. I know that the one or two times I took Max to the vet, because I, I, I just, I guess it's the farmer in me, but like, I'm just not big on the vets. I, I, I just, now if he hurt himself and it, like, I would be, right there I don't want him but like he'll have seizures he hasn't had one knock on wood and in, in months and months but the three times he had seizures he had the exact same food and it was the spicy cheese off my chicken well I don't do that anymore and he's fine when he did go to the doctor they did x-rays on his lower half and they said that he has an extremely small bladder. Now, I don't know if it's me. Max, I need to hold you for a second because I got to show them something. Come here. Fight through it. Fight through it. Come here. Then I'm grabbing you. Can you just stand on the desk, please? Thank you. I don't know how good you... So his head's up here. Right here is on both sides. So here's his head, rib cage. Right down here, right above his buttocks, there's two lumps right there. They're consistent with each other. I push on them. Doesn't bother them. But I don't... That's the only thing he really has that concerns me. But they're on both sides. You wanna say hi to James? Say hi, James. Hi, James. So we put your check in the mail today. We put your check in the mail. Can I have a kiss? I'll put you down if you give me a kiss. You wanna get down? Okay. It's 
cooler on the concrete in. Thank you for letting me show them. Mighty obliged. This cat. I don't know what that means. Angry, munchy, moochy. For sure. I wish there was a way that on YouTube, hear me YouTube, where we could do a community page like on Facebook where you guys could post and stay more in contact that way. Post your animals, your family if you wanted, inspiring quotes, whatnot. I guess at this time, all we can do is if you ever see something or want to share something, email me or text me and say this is what I would like you to put on the community tab. That way the bumblebees can see it because I don't mind doing that at all. Um, it's just, I guess, the only way we can really do it here on YouTube. Andrea's sending me her kitty cat pictures. I know I'm so close to the camera nowadays because the, uh, psh, um, the font. Let me see something. Nothing there. any good options over here to do anything. I mean, if you want to get jiggy with it, we could, you know, like, you know, be like that, or if you want a more drawing kind of video, I could do this for you. Um, you know, make it more television-like. Um, if you want to glamour it up, do a little fade. This is dream. Can you see why? It's how my head feels when I have vertigo. Whoa. This makes sense. Because I'm famous. And famous. Bubbles. Anybody down with the bubbles? We got the dawn. Ooh, glow. At his birthday party, oh my gosh. No filter, we'll go right there. Okay, I'm done. Thanks. I saw that James Allen, Texas, man, it's, I, if I remember correctly, it's out by the colony, which is about an hour from Dallas, if that far. Um, I heard about that seven were shot at them all and then nine were maybe going to make it. That's 16 people that could possibly lose their life. And then the shooter was killed by the cops. Yeah, because I used to live in Plano and then like Arlington, the colony. But I remember Allen, Texas being close to Dallas and the colony. But I, I don't know exactly where. Uh, Sherry and Donnie lived in Allen, Texas back in the late 80s. Do you guys want to go for a walk? Uh, Donnie walked by my house this morning. Let's not lie, it wasn't this morning. Um, and 
Donnie is a peppy fella, you know. Oh my God, you should see his, gosh, his arm. Oh my gosh, his arm is so bad. He sliced it on rust. It's bad. It's bad. I can't believe he didn't get stitches, but um, he, hi, Wayne. I said, well, hey, Donnie, and he just kept walking. And so I'm like, I wonder what's bothering him. And then I noticed he put the angel on Sherry's flower plot in the front yard. So you can, that's what it was. He was talking to his wife that has passed. Um, so I walked down to the garage where he was and I just grabbed him and hugged him. And I said, I love you so much. Let me buy you some lunch. Because food helps Donnie. And he said, well, just, you know, maybe six chicken nuggets. And I'm like, six chicken nuggets is like a pre-appetizer for him. So I got him the 10 piece. I feel like here in my tractor, my dad's probably like, excuse me, there's work to be done. Oh, lost you. Sorry, Max. Andrea, I was wondering that too. Let's go. The storm is coming in. Um, isn't that supposed to be my job? Heck no. Dad don't trust me with the weed eater and I don't trust my damn self. I know, but dad wanted me to do that and I feel bad you're doing it. You Oh, yours is a burn back there. We got two of them going. Donnie, I want to show the bumblebees your arm. They said you need a tetanus shot. What? Say it's something. Fine. Is it? Is it fine? Yeah. That's fine? Yeah. Sure it is. It's and healing. Red streaks. No, it's healing. Good. Is that what happens if... Okay. Yeah. Russ, yes, definitely needs the shot. Ooh, look at that pretty blue. That's all cobbled. Is that what it, oh, and the green? That's all some of that old treated wood, ain't it? Did you say it was sofa that they put on railroad ties? Oh, creosote. Creosote. Cre oh, okay. Oh my gosh, that fire is pink. Purple, green, blue. What's mom doing? Have you seen her? Yeah, yeah, I went over there. Did you see the chair, lawn chair I got her? Uh-uh. It's really cool. It can yeah. lay back. Donnie, I really appreciate you vacuuming she's for me. Apple pie. Yeah, it's not apple. I looked for apple, couldn't find it. It's going to be cherry, and oh, you're going to be grateful. Okay. Damn, I should have had you get some ice cream. I'll go get some. I need, yeah, I need. What kind of ice cream? I cannot believe you guys can't tell, but that fire has green, purple, yeah, pink. Yeah, well, on here, they can't really oh, tell. Really? That's oh my gosh, it's like when we were at Miss Betty's. Huh? Miss Betty's, remember when we yeah. threw in those color changers? Yeah. I got some for the retreat. Did you really? Yeah. Awesome. I know. Don, Andrea said, can't tell Donnie nothing. <laughs> no, just most of the men. Because yeah. of his arm, is shot. Well, I mean, if I start feeling bad, it's not nice. Well, it looks like it's healing up nice, and it happened a while ago, but I just saw it today. Have you checked your fire, Dad? Oh, yeah, I did a little bit ago. It's fine. <coughs> I'm going to show him Sherry's angel. Oh, so. We'll be back. If you want me to go get you ice cream, where, where would you, just Country Mart? Yeah. Do you want the Napoleon? Uh, either you can get uh, the ice cream at Dollar General too.
Or yeah, the, but it ain't got the three guys. Yeah, that's what I like. Me too. The, the, that's Nepal. Yeah, no. Nepal, China. Ooh, nice language. Okay, I'll go back in town in a bit and get it. You need some money? No, I can get it. It's okay. Sure. I'm sure. Donnie, it was so sweet of you. You did? I told the bumblebees you vacuumed. It's so nice of you. Yeah, it was getting pretty bad. I understand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm doing it. It was very sweet of you. I'll, I'll uh, definitely keep an eye on it. My dad put that up there. That was from one of my bumblebees. That's a, I'll tell him about that, Andrea, about the lockjaw. It rained so hard that some of these rose petals fell off. Look at that sweet one. They're so beautiful. Aren't they pretty? Smell them, Max. Don't they smell nice? You hear that thunder rolling? You want to go into town with me? Can you lick your penis when nobody's watching? Thank you. Thank you. There's thunder. You see how dark the clouds are getting. Thunder, thunder, thunder. So I got this angel. I was going to do a giveaway. Not a giveaway, but it has a giveaway. But it just made so much sense to give it to Donnie. And he propped her right up next to the Sherry's plant. And he put her in a couple inches because the bottom goes down a little bit. Neapolitan, that's what it is. Let's see if the mills ran. My mom loves her rose garden, her little rose bush. These are all my parents. The mail has not ran, but I'll take them in. But these are from yesterday or Saturday. I'm gonna take this in Nana. And I'll take you guys to the back and show you guys the chair I got my mom today at the Salvation Army. Look, she already put her stuff, Shannon, got her right down here. She said, this is perfect. Come on, Max. Come on. This is my parents' living room. Mom, I got some stuff. Mom, this is from Saturday. The mail hasn't run today. Okay, is this for my bill? Bank of America, auto insurance, and Mercy. Yeah, there's no damn check in here. Yeah. Stupid. It's about the storm and the boys want ice cream. So I'm going to run into town and get them ice cream. Oh. Um, it's about to storm. It's thundering out and there's dark clouds. Yeah. The boys want ice cream. So they want Neapolitan. Um, and I think I can only probably get that at Country Mart. So I'm going to. 
run in and do that. Is there anything you... Or do you want me to grab Apple then? No, Greg, it's pie in the oven. Okay. That's why they want the ice cream. Yes. Okay. They said... Dad goes, Bobby's making an apple pie. And I said, actually, it's cherry, and we're going to be grateful for it. He goes, oh, I'm fine with that. We need ice cream. And they both look at me, and I'm like, okay. I know what that means. Oh, no problem. What are they doing over there? Dad's got a burn pile going over in his big burn pile, and Donnie's burning all those leaves. Okay. So, um. Well, I, knew, I can see smoke coming over there. Yeah. It seems like there's stuff over there. Is that that log, them logs? Like where the swing was by the tree? Those are uh, just wood branches we've been picking up that we're trying to collect for the retreat. Okay. And then once we clean that, all those leaves where the railroad ties were, we're going to start nicely stacking the wood there. The cut up. Yeah, for the retreat. Okay. Yep. Right. So you don't need anything from Walmart? You're going to Walmart? Nope. Didn't oh. mean it. Country Mart. Yeah, well, I can't think of the thing. Okay, well, if you think, just send me a text or call me. I'll call you because... Yeah, pa too many yeah, page me. Yeah, I'll page you. Love you. Thanks for checking. Of course. So I guess I'm going to go be going back in town. Go. Oh, these are moms. This is the thing that Shannon sent her. Dirty bass. Last one is a rotten egg. Oh my gosh. And then she put, th they're just taped on there, but you crack me up. Love the flock you're with. Cool chick and mama hen. So she can pull those off. Isn't that adorable? So freaking cute. We're going to hang it on the chicken coop out there. Come on, baby. And that's the chair I got for mom. Um, for 10 bucks at the Salvation Army. And I don't know how to work these things, but it eventually, like, lays. You can lay it back. But she said, oh, let me pay you back. And I said, no, then that's not a gift. Quit doing that. Quit doing that. Oh, that's going out in the field. Driving my tractor. <sighs> Who knows? The thunder does sound nice. That's where I'm getting ready to go is where the dark weather's going. I would take you guys with me, but you know how the reception be. But I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run in, go get the ice cream. If you guys need anything, text me. And then if you guys want to hang out and talk later, I can come back live. Oh, so good. So good. And, um, yeah. Hi, April. Hi and bye. <laughs> Letty, it makes it great that I even got to see your name pop up. It's a win for all of us. I have no cash. I wanted to get a little bit, like just a quarter of weed, but... Oh, no. Wendy, you knew that was a bad idea when you did it. I went to the Dollar Tree and got a whole bunch of cards because they're 50 cents a piece. And I can pick them out specifically. I did that and then I got, you know, my stickers. We'll stick that. I got, I just don't want to use my cash. It's like every time I get cash in here, then it goes away. 20, 35. 36, 37, 38. That's not enough to buy a quarter. 
maybe if I go, I need to, no, no. I need to, cause I got these uh, marijuana seeds. Look how beautiful that is. Orange sherbet. And I got to plant these, but I got to get the disposable uh, pots that after they start to bloom that I can put in the ground. I know they're everywhere, but everywhere I look today, I couldn't find them. But this is California orange sherbet. Feminized seeds. So once these start growing, I won't have to be buying weed anymore. And just so you know, it's legal to grow marijuana here in Missouri. Six plants, medical card, 12 plants a person. If you don't have a medical card, which I do, six plants. If you do have a medical card, you can grow 12. All right, well, I'm gonna go before the storm hits, but again, I am canceling the vision board just with the things to do and just not mentally there right now. I'd rather just hang out and talk and shoot the shit. Andrea, see what I did there? I learned. And then go from there. I don't have any other, but I guess I could get a little cash. Who knows? Okay. I love you guys so much. More than you know. We're sending big prayers, if you don't mind, to Crystal and Michelle. Big thanks to Jesus for Miss Sandy's family member healing, continuing to heal, and everybody else out there that needs some extra prayers, I'm sending them up. It is a hybrid, but towards sativa. I don't like indica because it puts me into bed. But I don't smoke weed during the day anymore. I mean, I haven't had weed in days, so... Um, I just only smoke it in the evening once my chores and everything are done because since I took that month break of not smoking marijuana, it does not take much for me to smoke and get an appetite or be stoned actually. So um, it don't take much at all. So when I usually would be going to get an ounce, a quarter will be plenty for me now. And that's good. That's really, really good. That will last me a couple weeks. When an ounce wouldn't even, even last me a week before. Yeah, I'm so glad that I don't smoke like I used to. I just need that tolerance break. So if you haven't taken a tolerance break and you're trying to cut back, I would do that. All right. Well, I will be back. Thank you all so much for the tips. Sandy, a big thanks to you. That was a big chunk of money. Um, I love you guys. And I will be back here in a little bit if you want to hang out. I can dance. I can, you know, like do stuff like this or this. I mean, I can do a lot of things for you guys. So just keep that in your mind when you see me go live in a little bit. So until then, make good choices. I love you guys. Talk soon. Very soon.